Good morning everyone, good afternoon, good noon, at magandang buhay, Indofillers, nasaan man kayo sa mundo, good morning, good day. Thank you so much. Yung po sa mga nag-subscribe sa atin. May mga bagong subscribers. Good morning! From Philippines, from, from Indonesia, and also from other countries. Maraming maraming salamat po sa suporta ninyo. And then we will just continue sharing tips so that it, our channel will be, um, will be of help to other people so today what we are going what i am going to share is about my v-back story Ta -da! yes what's an mcs so if you know my story my first child i delivered normal yung second child ko po is cesarean section so why for my third child yan natutulog sa likod ko yan po i plan to have a v-back vaginal birth after c-section so, so if you, you will be a candidate for vbac if you have one of these criteria number one you are pregnant with one baby have a history of one or two prior low transverse c-sections and have no problems that would prevent vbac so ano yung lower um low transverse c-sections nandito po yung picture and then, second, if you are also pregnant with cesarean po kasi. So, um, hindi ina-advise yung CS na yung pahaba like this in this picture. Okay? So, um, another one, if you are pregnant with twins. So, um, then you have a prior low transverse section and are otherwise a candidate for a twin vaginal delivery so then um you have to on of course you have to um ask advice from your doctors from your ob if you are a candidate because a medication they could not put you um hindi ka pwedeng lagyan nila ng um epidural wala talagang it's a slow vaginal delivery yeah so, what will happen is that, like this, yung nangyari sa akin, I really wanted to have a, a viva. Pero, um, contraction ni baby, my water, okay, what happened first, um, I already had the labor at the time, kasi my water broke in the house. So, the moment my water bag um, burst from the house pa, we went right away to the hospital, Sapuri in the hospital, so somewhere in Jakarta Barat, West Jakarta, gush ng water on labas, paunti-unti, hindi naman ako naiihi, so it's just a white liquid, yan yung am amniotic fluid, na kung saan si baby nagsiswim-swim, so pagdating namin sa hospital, nag-start na yung contraction, kaya sa bahay nagsistart na, pero bearable pa. Uh, I think na sabi ko na before sa vlog ko na yung tolerance ko uh, sa pain. Oh, wow! So, kahit na hindi ko siya kaya, kaya na kaya ko talaga kasi gusto ko nga mag back Kasi nga sa hospital, they check. Yung check na nila. Regular contractions. So, paubos na pala yung water bag ko kasi the whole time, tumating kami sa hospital mga 10 o'clock ng gabi was contraction na siya, pinahiga na ako. I'm not allowed to stand. When they check on me, 2, 2 cm pa lang. So, then, again, it's the third, but madali ang, ang progress ng opening ng, ng dilation ng cervix. And the thing is, yung ob ni ko, na yun ang regular checkup ko si, si Dr. Eric Kasman, was not there at that time. Kasi nga, December 2, last year. So, ang nangyari, last year na 2019, 37 weeks and 4 days pa si baby. Yan, natutulog na yan. Huh? So, what happened, 
um, nag-recommend ako sa isa pang obigay ni na kung sino daw pipili ko. Hindi ko naman sila kilala mga, mga Indo-feelers. Kasi sa Jakarta, pag manganganak ka, uh, di ba dito is a Muslim country. So, sa sa hospital, pag, pag it's like Christian, um, ano, Christian celebration, like Natalan, like Christmas, yung mga Christians, sila yung may time na, ano, parang, um holiday din nila pero pag 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 Idul Fitri naman yung Ramadan na sinasabi yung celebration ng Muslim brothers and sisters natin oh wow 16 hours yung aking labor mga Tesh pero until nag 16 uh, 14 hours at the 14th hour uh, October 28 na yun chineck ulit ako nasa 4C a uh, 5CM pa rin ang sabi ni Dr. Thomas uh, of Puri Inda Hospital sabi niya na um, it should be um, mag-progress dapat kasi they cannot put they cannot have any intervention if I wanted it to be feedback so ano ma, ano siya talagang pinupuntahan niya ako and all that so wala talaga hindi na po progress nakakaya ko pa ang pain so, siguro manhid na ang puso ko <laughs> manhid na sa mga puso kasi hindi mafifital stress si baby hindi pa din 24 hours na walang tubig doon kasi wala siyang siya kumukuha ng nutrients ko, ng nutrients niya, tsaka ng oxygen. So, kasi pag nasuffocate siya, di ba? Kasi wala na nga air, walang, walang water yung nagluwas. Kasi na, water bag ko na first na. So, what happened? Failed ang ating V-bag. So, nagsisarya na naman ako for the second time. Pero this time, it's a different... So then you know, for the next, do not waiting for a con. <laughs> oh yeah. Weeks, the recovery period. But again, it will depend on each woman. Hindi siya pa direct yung 6 to a 4 to 6 weeks. May iba, madali ang healing. Depende sa body again. So you have to listen to your body. May iba naman, matagal ang healing nila. So, you have again to listen to your body. So, yung nangyari sa akin, um, they put epidural o yung sinatapag na ng spinal block injection. Um, again, hindi ko din siya naramdaman. Wala, sabi niya, mga iba na, na masakit for others. They said it's really very painful. Maybe because, kasi, a theory ko lang to, they have a parang scheduled CS talaga. Ako kasi, even if I know na mas CS ako, but I would try to be back. So, yung sa expectations again, mind over matter again. So, hindi ako nag-concentrate dun sa pain. Ang akin lang is, yun na, na ma-deliver si baby. So, again, it's a case-to-case -case basis. Depende po sa tao, depende po sa mother who is expecting. So, yung anesthesia na to, yung, yung epidural na to, dito sa likod. So, nag -num. Yung sa first experience ko na si Sarian, para siyang, ano, yung cramps na parang mga ants na from the lower back papunta dun sa aking toes. Ngayon different, para siyang mainit. Lower lang eh, kasi local anesthesia, local anesthesia ba yan? Kasi nga dito lang, hindi sa upper body. It's not a general anesthesia. So you are really awake the whole session ng CS. So yun, pagpasok dun, parang na-feel ko lang, hindi na siya parang simot, hindi siya parang ants, kundi para siyang ano lang, yung parang manhid na ano. Pero mainit, na-feel ko ang init. Tapos hanggang na-feel ko na medyo, after na init, may konting lamig. I want, I don't know, ano yung experience ng ibang nasisarian, kasi nga, second time ko na to. So ito yung na-feel ko. So yun, I was expecting na yun ang may experience ko, pero hindi yun ang nangyari. So ngayon, sa first ano ko, very malamig, malamig ang kwarto. Hindi gandin allowed si husband pumasok kasi yun ang protocol nila dito. So, um, um, again kasi hindi naman siya emerge, pero yung parang ganun na din kasi hindi namin siya, para may sterilize si hubby. So, nandun na siya sa labas ng operating room. So, after dun sa anesthesia, tapos may tina sila na needle na parang nilagay nila dito sa taas. Dito, sakit ba? Opo. Then may parang siguro tinusok din nila dun sa may pa ako. Sakit ba? Uh, ano nararamdaman mo? Masakit? Or kung hindi, sana mas masakit itong dito sa upper mo or sa lower. Sabi ko itong sa upper. So, 
meron na pala tumalab na pala yung um yung yung ano ang ginagawa nila um at the time they keep asking me so yun na inopen na nila very fast lang talaga madaling uh, very ano smooth kasi 6 o'clock yung schedule sa akin tapos uh, yun diretso na uh, mga 6.15 or 6.30 lumabas na si Kenyo so narinig ko yung ano niya, I asked them na eh, skin to skin I asked them na wag mo na putulin yung placenta ni baby kumaga let it parang mag, mag breathe in muna si baby doon sa placenta eh, kita ko kasi yung light naka diretso siya doon sa aking ano sa aking um, yung sa opulya nakita ko Ang nakita ng part ko na is yung inopen nila. Yung incision ko is um, horizontal, lower incision. So, very thin lang. Parang ano lang, parang buhok ko lang. Parang strand ng buhok. Hindi siya gan makapal. So, thankfully na ako. Kasi parang, wala. So, yun ang ina-expect ko na ganun. Na maging grogyo ako. Ano. I was awake the full procedure. So, yun ang nangyari. Second that, nag skin to skin si baby narinig ko ang ikaw baby sabi nila baby is out baby is so gamuk gamuk meaning to say mataba chubby so nasa 3.6 si Kenyo so ayun ang ingay niya second na expect ko ganoon ako I did not feel that sa second time after that uh, pang 2 hours na ako kasi very okay ang aking vital signs and all that DP was okay um, even my heart rate is okay. Um, okay ang lahat. So, yung, yung pulse rate is okay. So, after 2 hours, nilabas na nila ako. Doon na, tapos, din nila na si, ano, hindi pa pala din nila si baby kasi check pa nila si baby. Mga, ano, nandun ako sa kwarto. Ano, so, the next day, ito na mga best. Sabi nila, lagi silang tinatanong. Doon, while in the operating room, lagi nilang tinatanong, do you want to vomit? Do you feel like vomiting. Sabi ko, hindi. Wala akong nafe-feel ng gano'n. Pag they said, if you wanted to vomit, magsabi ka lang. But everything is in bahasa. Hala. Salamat sa akin bahasa test, no? Alam ko na naintindihan ko na ang ibig sabihin nila. So, after 24 hours, ano yung mararamdaman? Last time, ang sakit ng aking katawan kasi nga, yung contraction ng aking uterus, ang sakit. Doon ko pa na-feel na masakit siya. Tapos, that's why they ask pag cesarean ka, after 24 hours, you have to really move from the left to the right. Which is for me, yun ang nafeel ko. It's very hard. Yun ang nafeel ko. So, after that, kailangan mong maglakad-lakad. Okay? So, dapat maglakad-lakad para walang mga blood clots na mabubuo. Kasi pag wala kang motion, hindi ka masyadong, you know, nag, nag move move Ang nangyayari kasi, may mga mamumuong mga dugo-dugo. So, that is very dangerous. So, yun. Tapos, um, wala akong na-feel na nasakit sa incision ko. Kasi tinry ni doctor na i-push. Wala. Ang sakit niya sa uterus ko talaga. Siguro kasi nga, nag-shrink siya. So, nagka-cramps. Meron ka pa rin, of course, dahil nga yun sa um, my shred is okay. Until the last day, ito na. Ito na po ang aking ano, nag-start. Kasi, after ng, ano, for checkout na kami, I vomited. Ala. Akala ko yun lang yun. The following day, the third day, the fourth day, one week po akong suka ng suka. And then, I'm very confused kasi nga nabibreastfeed na ako, ba Grabe. So, ito po ang aking masasabi sa inyo. It, I never experienced that bloated ako. Takot na takot ako. I was in really asking, I was asking my ob is this normal? Baka may kinuha kayong <laughs> internal organ. <laughs> Baka kinuha yung internal organ ko. Kasi narinig ko yung gas. So meaning to say, na anuhan ako ng hangin. It's a gatos. Nagka-diarrhea ako. Yun ang na-experience ko mga Again, different experiences po tayo. So, wag po kayong matakot. Don't, don't be afraid. I'm just giving these tips para at least may expectations kayo na yun ang nangyari sa akin. So, what you have to do after having a cesarean? Kasi it's a major operation. So, fail po ang VBAC natin. Cesarean din po tayo. <coughs> Oh, <laughs>
that you're a new parent and then you have a baby to take care, you have a baby to breastfeed and you can't take rest. I'm just so thankful to my husband and to my nieces. They are very helpful because if the baby is asleep, sabi talaga ng mother ko, I need to sleep also. Nag awake siya, I need to be awake. Or nag nagpapump na ako at that time eh. Kasi second week ng, ng breastfeeding, second week pa, two weeks pa lang si baby, okay na yung, yung milk, um, milk supply ko. If you want to have tips, you please click the link down below sa description box on how to increase your breast milk supply. It will help you. So, don't, you have to be, uh, you ask help. Okay. Nagising. So, now, nagdededere. So, vlogging is like, habang nagbe-breastfeed din siya, ito, nag-record ako ng vlog ko. Okay, so, saan na ba tayo? Always ask for help, number two. Number one, take a lot of rest. Number two, you have to um, ask for help talaga. Kasi hindi pa pa kaya talagang mag magbipit, magkarga ng mga galon-galon. Okay? You have to keep walking. Hindi naman very fast, but you have to be in mobile talaga to avoid na yung mga blood clots. Okay? So, para at mas madali ang healing. Parang ganun. So, number three, you have to also process your emotion because mga mom she's mga endophilar moms giving birth is an emotional experience so it's yeah. not just a physical experience but all the more it is also a um phys uh, an emotional experience so for especially for emergency delivery it's somewhat traumatic sa mga first time moms like me you said so second go hello i'm kenu and mommy is talking about my birth Okay, and then um, after yung ano, take regular walks. I think I said a while ago, take regular walks. And then, of course, get support for breastfeeding. So how? Again, search kayo sa YouTube. Uy, galit siya mga bed. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello. Um, giving birth. Yeah. Okay. So, I hope that I have given you some tips. Expecting, expecting, Bisaya on the door. Expecting moms, if you are, I oh know, you want to have it normal, go listen to your body. And also, you have to always pray to God. Right, Be? Okay, say bye-bye to them. Bye-bye. We will continue breastfeeding. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. Goodbye.